Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Life in the Village 3. And, uh, sorry about my voice today. I'm getting over from being sick. Uh, so my voice sounds terrible. <laughs> Last time, we built that windmill. And, uh, also, tried to work with these miners. And, uh, I never got them to work. I messed around with them for about an hour. It just wasn't happening. <laughs> So, it looks like we might want to get into mine colonies to do uh, some more automation of a resource gathering. Most everything else we're getting from the bees, that's pretty good. We already found the basic thing that we need, the supply ship chest. There's also a, like a camp version. We found the ship, it's what we're using. We're also going to need some of this stuff. It might be under here. Let's see, yeah, build tool. This is what we need. Wonderful. So we're out here near the house. Um, other side from the testificate area. So we should have both loaded more or less from the house. But uh, if we're in one or the other, the other one won't be loaded. So, so there's that. We're going to go ahead and uh, take our supply ship here. Run it out to the water. And we'll have to light this up. These actually look pretty cool. So if we put it, let's see. Maybe we have to come out here a little bit. How about now? Let's try the build tool. Hmm. Let's look at the quest log. I'll bet that will tell us what to do. Or maybe we could put it on land? Ah, yeah, there we go. We can escape. We should be able to get a look at it. That's nice. I don't know that I like the acacia. Let's see what else. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Okay, we can, uh, Caledonia. Oh my. These are cool. We got dark oak. That's really cool. What should we choose? Okay, the medieval dark oak supply ship. And I think we just uh, check mark. Not all blocks in the area meet the requirement. Oh, there's one highlight block, huh? Can we move it? How about now? Yeah! Awesome. There's all kinds of useful things here. Storage racks, which you will need. <laughs> but what we're looking for is here... Town hall and a build tool. I guess we didn't have to make that one. And I bet that we want to go below decks. Uh huh. Okay, that's just water. I'll take the books. Uh huh. Oh, come here. This is actually easier. A couple blocks of gold. So I am looking at the quest line, and in our zeal, we may have uh, temporarily locked ourselves out. Um, yeah. We'll have to find another one of those. Um, <laughs> oh, well. That's gated quests for you. 
We're gonna put this town hall block down right here. We're gonna use the build tool. Big well? No, we want a town hall. Let's see. We got Philosophy, Medieval Birch, Medieval Dark Oak, Medieval Spruce, Nordic, True Dwarven, Space Wars. I, think we see, I wonder what the Medieval Spruce would look like. Let's see. Okay, these must define the corners. I see. I see. That looks pretty cool. Now eventually, we're going to get four colonists wandering over here. So, next thing we want to do is create a colony. It's just in the GUI of the block there. We've got our settlers moving in. And I should have marked the area of the town hall somehow. I did not. But we get back into it. Hmm. Oh, it definitely shows us the, the limit of where we can build with where it is right now. Just holding the build tool. Okay, we got our first settler. Remington. Wonderful. Hello. Work, work. Oh, that's awesome. Now, what it was telling us there is that we need a builder's hut. So, it should be one of these first ones here, I would think. Uh, yeah. Need planks and a door. That's not hard. I'll take our tool back. And we're going to need a ton of spruce. Here we go. Let's take a look. I'm going to go back to uh, medieval spruce. Let's see what we're dealing with. I like the look of it. This time, I think we can move it forward by two. I don't want to be too close to the town hall, as in, like, I don't want to be right on top of it. Um, and before we hit that check mark, we're marking the, the corners this time. Okay. Now what we're going to want to do, where did it go? Here it is. Some buildings have extra help. Here you can have an overview. Check out all the buildings pages. Okay. We're going to... I want to hire a builder. Turn the hiring to manual. Okay, we have a builder. Wonderful. So where is he? Here she is. Doesn't look like there's anything special with her. We might just have to come over here and try build options. Yeah, I'll see what she does. Oh, now it looks like we got Remington. Work, work. What could we give him? Oh, okay. Cool. And all we gotta work, do work. is uh, go to his inventory, give him shears. Best work there we go. It's going to take him a while. So uh, we are going to get 
the next couple of structures ready. We do have to keep an eye on the time, too, because uh, zombies will go for them. Then you'll have to find more. Um, see if we can find the houses. Bakeries, blacksmith, house. We're going to want four of these for now. One house for, uh, for each colonist. You can... Uh, Upgrade them and put more than one colonist into a house, but once you've done that, you'll end up with baby colonists up to five, and then you'll start getting barbarians. And we want to have things a little bit ready before it's barbarian time. You can kind of go through the needed resources, see what you need to uh, give the builder. The framed spruce. That, it looks like the only way we can really get that. Uh, easily, anyway, is uh, with the chisel. Cool that it's integrated like that. How many do we need? We need uh, 11. So, I don't know if there, there we go. And then until the hut's built, you can just throw it in your builder's inventory directly. Strong framed spruce. Stuff we want is from the architect's cutter, apparently. Let's uh, get ourselves some planks. Let's see. Hmm. Aha. Can we spot the ones that it wants? We should probably bring this architect's cutter over with us. I think it's this one. So we need an axe. There you go. I'm going to do my best to work for you. So where to put him? Oh, here we go. Was that good? Was that good? Did you like that? Yes, you did. It looks like we finally given him everything. There will be a way to automate that relatively soon, but for now we gotta give it to him by hand. There he goes. Yeah, these are all pretty cool. We got a couple varieties of spruce buildings we can choose from, so hopefully this will come out looking pretty good. Okay, so our builder's rumbling along, and they're already complaining that they're not getting any sleep. So we're going to set up these houses. We'll do one medieval spruce. Let's, uh, we're out of its range here. Oh, that's new. I don't see it on the town hall. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we should move this back a little bit. I feel like the edge might be up here. Let's, uh... See what we can figure out. Yeah. I feel like... Oh, is that what the builder's hut looks finished? Okay. That's interesting. So we could actually probably, oh. <laughs> Brutal. Shot by a skeleton. No, shot by one of these boys. Crying out loud. I have a bucket. So I guess pillagers will go after uh, colonists too, huh? That's the way it goes. Where did this nerd come from? Ah. All right, we can move this over, definitely. Um, Cause we want some space between them. But we do also want them to be fairly close together. What, what we don't want is them overlapping. 
And I didn't realize we get full previews. Um, you just get that with the build tool. Okay. Gotta love the build tool. These corners aren't really necessary. That's all right. All right, so in addition to the medieval spruce, oh, we're getting full here. We're gonna try the medieval spruce alternate. And put it up one. Uh, use our good old build tool. Let's see. Medieval birch, medieval dark oak. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Let's see what, ooh. That's cool. I guess that's what it'll, it'll be when it's uh, when it's all the way done. We just need to uh, move it this way a little bit, I think. Let's see. That looks good. Looks big. Well, builder's head is done. I should come over and try to build uh, this house next. Now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do another one. But this one, we're going to do Nordic. Which is also spruce based. Uh, let's see, as long as we're not conflicting. Yeah, I think that's good. Now we'll do the Nordic alternative for the fourth one. Yeah, that's a little... Nope, you know what? That's fine. All right. We didn't lose Bad Omen. I drank milk. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, here we go. Look at you. Where are they coming from? Oh, right over here. <laughs> hey, fellas. Oh, there's like tough guys. I wonder if these guys are smart enough to get in here. Let's hope not. Alright. This guy's smart enough to get in here. I wonder how he did it. Oh, right over the chest, huh? Yeah, that's right. Alright, deal with this wave. Uh, somebody else found their way in. I mean, I guess they could just go around and stuff. That's on the menu. Uh, two left. I wonder where the other one is. Hmm. Oh, this looks suspicious. There we go. Here comes the next wave. No idea where the last one in the second wave went. That's alright. Oh. Now I do. I was just about to give up. Oh no, these guys are in. Alright. Fight a crew here. Yeah? Legioners? I don't think I've ever seen those guys before. Yeah. This one I've seen. You guys see the first Ravager we fought? I can just get in. Hold their attention here. Let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that, huh? You got another. Look at this guy. Skirmisher. All right, haircut. 
Blast up as a ravager way over there. Only over at my house. Well, probably not the last, but I'm gonna get him out of there. Always something. Yeah. I don't think I can hit him through this. If I. Well, he hit me. Oh! Something must have gotten it. Hero of the village. Very good. Shower me with your tribute. Don't let the rain dab on your spirits. I set off fireworks. Uh, Remington's moving along, getting us our first house here. The main block in all of these have their own inventory. Uh, for a builder, instead of giving him resources directly, we could just uh, come on over here. And then, uh, you know, see if there's anything we need, which there isn't. And then just put it into this inventory. Yeah, moving right along. Getting towards being done. So this one's all done. Old uh, Benedict or whoever. Builder Ben. Working on the next one. One of the things he's going to need are these parts. Make these in the architect table. You can see the shingles right there. The other kind you get with uh, with three hay bales. Does take a good amount of wheat. Okay, I took a closer look. Like, what we made were these. And looking at the recipe, what we need are these. <laughs> so, I gotta grow some more wheat. Okay, I was still doing it wrong. It's not even hay bales. It's this stuff. Which is a lot cheaper than hay bales, so... <laughs> okay, okay. I got it. Probably shouldn't have taken that long for me to figure that out. This place is all done. Alora moved into it. It's pretty cool. And I do really like these. These really solve the problem of needing some upside down stairs equivalent to make uh, you know, a pitched roof not look weird. So really good. House number three, coming along, looking pretty cool. Oh, for crying out loud. These guys are everywhere. Once we get all that housing built, we gotta think about feeding these folks. We're gonna want a fisher hut, and we're gonna want a restaurant if we can find it. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Wonderful. Oh, and the other buildings we're gonna need. We're gonna need a warehouse, and we're gonna need a courier hut. We might as well make them all since we're right here. Now the Fisher Hut, a little tricky. Definitely gotta use the build tool, which we don't have in our inventory because it's in our storage system. Let's grab that. <laughs> the reason I say this is tricky is because there's usually water involved in the structure. Uh, Fisher, okay. Uh, we're gonna go with, uh, where's the, is there an alternate for the Nordic? Oh, uh, there's medieval spruce alternative. So let's see 
where this thing thinks the water is. Can I tell? Oh, now it's stuck. There we go. Let's maybe lift this up a little. Maybe get a better view. Alright. Yeah, it's got to want water all around it, really. Let's, uh, turn it. And let's send it a little farther out. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. That's That's got to be fine. I'm hoping that the building of this house will extend uh, the boundaries of the town far enough that we won't have to bring this in too much. We could bring it in some. Uh, wouldn't be a big deal. This is a weird little house, isn't it? And I guess he's going to build us a tree? Okay, I think we're going to have to give up on putting it uh, right at the water's edge. What we'll do, uh, let's see we put it right here. Uh, let's see if we can find where it thinks there's water. Hmm, is this even the right structure? No, that's the restaurant. No wonder. Here we go. Okay. Keeps putting down the restaurant. I'm sure I have the Fisher's Hut now, right? That's the restaurant. Let's... Alright. Now we're talking. Alright, we got it somewhere anyway. Here's something I didn't realize. You don't actually have to find these. You can just craft them. So that will actually allow us to complete <laughs> some of these quests. Very cool. And let's see. Oh, it would want the, the town hall, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's see if we can just make one. I will need another one of these build tools. No, that's alright. There we go. And then it'll be a while. Oh, we might as well make it. Because otherwise we'll just be running behind on this quest line forever. We probably will need another builder's hut at some point. So what's next? A tavern? Okay. Guess it really wants us to make a tavern? There's barrels in here? Yeah. There we go. Now, one of the many things your colonists get mad at you about, and they're real mad at the beginning. <laughs> is not getting into bed. But once you've got a house for everyone, you'll get that little message in the chat once they've, uh, once they've tucked themselves in. Oh no! Buddy, you're stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's get you into the water. Thank you. Should be about done here. Usually the torches are the last things they put down. This pot's a little glitchy, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's alright. So, I know the structure will eventually come out to these acacia corners. I wasn't sure about the orientation. 
uh, I'm not sure where our fishers got a fish from. I hollowed this out a little bit and put some water down in case this is it, but we'll see. Okay, I'm not sure I caught that last little bit. Uh, Laura took the job. I gave her a fishing rod. She's standing right here. And I'm wondering if this is uh, where we should have some water for her to fish in. Didn't get her to do anything. Sure enough. I had to give her some, some cooked steak to get her to start working. Good day to you. But well, uh, she, she did not like the bread. They don't seem to care for it. I don't know if I bake terrible bread. But, uh, anyway. You got, uh, Cuttington Rems or whatever his name is. Hopefully not falling down in a hole. He keeps, uh, digging out from under himself. And there's, like, bad news down here. I wanted him to uh, build us the town hall, so we'd uh, we'd have it for scale. Now, for the fish to be of any use, <laughs> they're gonna have to be cooked. So, we got a build tool. Yeah, let's uh, move this up a little bit and see if we can get a good look at it. Well, that's the acacia one. That's not even what we want. Um, let's see. What's the spruce alternative? More of those blocks. I do like that. But... Not really what we're doing. Let's see, uh... See what the other spruce one is. They're all pretty cool, aren't they? I do like this. I think this is good. And again, we're probably going to want to wait on figuring out the landscaping until we've seen these things as big as they're gonna get. We'll probably do like terrace stuff. I think that'll probably be uh, be the way to go. And let's also get a basic idea of what the warehouse is gonna look like. It's uh... How big is this thing? <laughs> Pretty big, huh? Let's uh bring it down some. Yeah, that's ground level. Probably. Now let's see. Okay, here's the right building at the right level. We're going to send it this way just a little bit. One more. Let's make sure it's not outside of the boundary. Nope, it looks good. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Now, every one of these, I don't know if I mentioned that you build, increases the radius of your colony. You can see it's still right angle back there because we haven't built that way much. But it's like all jiggity jagged here. Oh, town hall's done. Very nice. Anyway, I think the guard towers extend it more. But uh, we'll be finding out about that. Probably not today, but definitely pretty quick. That level one town hall. It's cool. Hang out up here. Pot shots at zombies. This restaurant is definitely the biggest thing that uh, these guys have built so far. Take it a minute.
Restaurant's done. Remington's starting in on the warehouse. And I thought somebody came in here to take this job. Oh, Jose's just sitting down. Cool. Uh, I could help you with that. <laughs> awesome. And to make the warehouse, we're going to need a couple of these standing barrels. Oh, they look cool, don't they? I like that. Can we, I don't suppose we could put them like that? Nah. Standing barrel, after all. Those are cool. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> I might have built this too low. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Like shave this down. The terraces are going to get pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty big. So, while he's finishing up, let's get the courier hut. We'll do, uh, we'll start with just the medieval spruce. We'll want more than one of these. Let's get up a little bit. Okay, we're going to move it. Forward and down. I think that's about right. Or should it go down one more? Let's see. You know I I feel like this will become dirt. That stuff. So let's go down one more. Forward a little bit farther. Now that puts this block. It does put it up some. So I'll mark the corners and see how we do. Okay, finally. Got the courier built. The courier will uh, interact with the warehouse and move stuff around. And I think that's going to be it for this time, folks. We'll set up the, uh, the courier to start taking fish to the restaurant and teach uh, Jose how to cook cod in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.